Still on Thomas Sankara News Central's Ni Omoni looks at the life and times of the man fondly referred to as the African Che Guevara. Birthed on 21 December 1949 in Yako, French upper voter, now Burkina Faso, Thomas Sankari was born as the third of ten children to the family of Joseph and Marguerite Sankara. After basic military training in secondary school in 1966, Sankara began his military career at the age of 19. Returning to Upper Volta in 1972, he fought in a border war between Upper Volta and Mali by 1974, where he earned fame for his heroic performance. In 1976, he became commander of the Commando Training Center in Po. In the same year, he met Blaise Campari in Morocco. Sankara differentiated himself from other government officials in many ways, such as biking to work every day instead of driving in a car. At the time, on the verge of war with France in charge, a coup d'etat organized by Blaise Compare, supported by Libya, made Sankara president on 4 August 1983 at the age of 33. It was under his rule that the country was renamed Burkina Faso from Old Upper Volta, meaning Land of Upright People. Sankara himself led a harsh lifestyle. He reduced his own salary and that of all public servants. He also banned the use of government chauffeurs and first-class airline tickets. Education was key priority while he was in power. The literacy rate increased from 13% in 1983 to 73% in 1987 and he also oversaw a massive national vaccination campaign. He redistributed land from outdated landlords and gave it directly to poor farmers, which led to a huge increase in wheat production. The charismatic pan-Africanist was, however, assassinated on October 15, 1987, in a coup led by Campari and two others. In 2016, the Burkina Faso authorities officially asked the French government to release military documents about Sankara's assassination. Those archives were declassified and transmitted to Burkina Faso in three stages, the final one in April 2021. Campari, who was denied his involvement in Sankara's murder, has been in exile in Ivory Coast since 2014 after a mass protest triggered by an attempt to extend his tenure. His trial, alongside 13 others, which began on Monday, October 11, 2021, has been referred to as a landmark moment in the 34-year quest for justice led by Sankara's family and supported by many in Burkina Faso. There were fears that the trial would further destabilize Burkina Faso, which is already battling with frequent attacks by jihadist groups linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group. On the contrary, Burkina Faso's current president, Mark Kabori, hopes the trial will ease tensions and boost national reconciliation. Despite the passage of time, Sankare, fondly called African Che Guevara, remains something of an icon across Africa as stickers decorated with his face adorn taxis across West Africa, while in South Africa, radical opposition leader Julius Malima cites him as one of his inspirations. Ni Omani, New Central.